Hello, I'm Chi. Today, I'd like to talk with you about IP over WDM, a technology that has received a lot of attention recently. The growth of internet traffic and the internet market significantly outpaces that of data service revenue. To cope with ever-growing traffic demands, carriers have to invest more in network infrastructure, and O&M's costs are on the rise year by year. To ensure that growing traffic volumes is translated to increased revenue, carriers and enterprises want to cut investments and OPEX by reducing the number of devices on their networks. On the traditional IP plus optical network, the gray optical module of a router connects to an optical transponder unit which is OTU on a WDM device. The OTU converts the gray optical signals sent by the router into standard colored optical signals and then outputs them to the multiplexer, which is MUX for transmission. This solution requires an independent WDM device. However, due to this requirement, the traditional solution is unable to meet the increasing demand for network layer simplification. The IP over WDM solution is an optimization of the traditional solution. In IP over WDM, a router is integrated with an OTU or one step further with a multiplexer and a demultiplexer, optional, to replace gray optics with end-to-end -end color transmission and reduce the capex and opex of enterprises and carriers. Before introducing the IP over WDM solution, Let's take a look at the basic principles of the wavelength division multiplexing, the most commonly used technology in optical transmission. In wavelength division multiplexing, also called WDM, a signal is multiplexed at the transit end and demultiplexed at the received end. In this process, a multiplexer at the transit end joins two or more optical carrier signals of different wavelengths together onto a signal optical fiber for transmission. After receiving the multiplexed optical carrier signals, the demultiplexer at the receive end splits them apart and the optical receiver performs further processing to restore the original signals. According to the distance between centered wavelengths in the WDM system, wavelength division multiplexing can be classified into dense wavelength division multiplexing, DWDM, and coarse wavelength division multiplexing, CWDM. Note that only optical signals of standard wavelengths can be directly output to the multiplexer. The gray optical signals used in traditional solutions do not have standard wavelengths and cannot be directly output to the multiplexer. The gray optical module and OTU must convert them into colored optical signals before outputting them to the multiplexer for transmission. After receiving the colored optical signals, the OTU and gray optical module convert them again into gray optical signals to interconnect with the router at the received end. We can see that colored optical signals do have standard wavelengths and therefore can be directly output to the multiplexer for transmission. The IP over WDM solution is proposed on this basis. IP over WDM solution can be classified into DWDM and CWDM solution. Let's take a look at the DWDM solution first. In this solution, the OTU is integrated into the colored optical module of a router to directly output colored optical signals. In this way, the colored optical signals output from the router can be directly transmitted by the multiplexer processed by the demultiplexer at the receive end and received by the peer router. Currently, the DWDM solution is mainly used in carrier scenarios. The CWDM solution is an enhancement of the DWDM solution. In this solution, the router is not only integrated with the OTU, but also with the multiplexer and demultiplexer at the transit or receive end. In this way, Two routers can transmit signals through optical fibers without the help of a WDM device. Currently, 
the CWDM solution is mainly used in enterprise scenarios. Compared with the transmission over gray optical signals, the IP over WDM solution has the following advantages. First, the number of optical modules required is reduced from 4 to 2, which can lower the cost. Second, the OTU is integrated with the router, saving space and reducing power consumption on the WDM device side. Third, signals are converted from optical to electrical each time an optical module is used. By using colored optical signals, IP over WDM eliminates two optical to electrical conversions, improving reliability. Fourth, the IP layer and the optical layer are streamlined, simplifying O&M. Colored optical signals technologies are now experiencing rapid growth and will bring the convergence of the IP and optical layers to new heights. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.